Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the class, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the class, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to the class, everybody. Good evening, good evening. All right, hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's Friday. We are finishing another week. So, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. So, it's Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Uh huh. Go to the beach. Go to the beach, really? Which one? Tomorrow. Okay, nice. Will you go to Tunka Beach or or another one? Uh, I don't know. All right, but sounds good. Have fun. Enjoy and take care, please. Thank you, teacher. And the rest of you, everybody, do you have plans for the weekend? Uh-huh. Anyone? <laughs> I can see the chat says sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why not try to rest, everybody? That is important, too. What else? Any other plans for the weekend? Study. I study. Very good. Of course. Work on the platform. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. Uh huh. Anyone else? Any other plan for the weekend? No? No more plans? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your weekend, ¿ok? Remember, everybody, estamos terminando ya la unidad 2. La próxima semana estamos iniciando la unidad 3. Así que espero que logren descansar el fin de semana porque la próxima semana, everybody, vamos a tener una nueva unidad y, por lo tanto, más practice. Así que recarguen baterías y estén listos para la próxima semana. Ya la próxima semana estaríamos está, uh, iniciando la segunda mitad de este nivel. Recuerden que este nivel son cuatro semanas. Así que básicamente, everybody, este día estamos ya culminando la mitad. ¿Ok? Así que, excelente. Very good. Estamos a la mitad del curso para que ustedes puedan subir de nivel. Y ya casi, everybody, en dos semanas más. Y ya ustedes estarían en el nivel number Three. Así que sigamos, please, no nos rindamos, sigámonos conectando, sigamos participando, um, siempre motivándolos, everybody, a que eh, participemos un poquito más, ¿ok? Eh, los que aún no se han atrevido a participar, tratemos de hacerlo, eh, como les digo, al menos en los breakup rooms, tratemos de entrar, tratemos de practicar un poquito, y si de repente no pueden hablarlo, I mean, no pueden encender el micrófono o something, pero quieren participar, también pueden enviar las respuestas en el chat. ¿Ok? Voy a estar pendiente del chat para que también se involucren en la clase. ¿Ok? Recuerden que entre más practiquemos, 
más vamos a aprender, ¿ok? Yo creo que aquí todos quieren hablarlo y quiero que vayan al tercer nivel sumamente listos y ready for the next level. So everybody, let's start. I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Let's see. Okay, Altagracia Ramirez de Chavez. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexis Urbina. Carlos Rodolfo Flores. Cristian Julio Cesar Castillo. Present. Thank you. Edgar Eliseo Ruano. Germán Gustavo Ramírez. Present. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Eh, Gisela Elizabeth Guillén. Okay, very good. Gloria Nicole Espinal. Okay, very good. Jacqueline Yvette Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, very good. Johnny Ismael Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Melara. Present. Thank you. Carla René Nieto. Present. Thank you. Kenia Guadalupe Moreno. Leidin Suleima Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Miss, ¿le activaron el usuario de la plataforma? Este, no. No le enviaron. Todavía no porque, todavía no porque Miss, este, no, no me, no puedo hacer el correo todavía. Ah, cuando usted brinda el correo, entonces se lo van a enviar. Ajá, porque es, no hay en, en qué plataforma hacerlo, porque yo en de Google ya tengo uno. Ah, ok, got it. Bueno, espero. Y en, y en Yahoo, no sé si tendría que hacer uno en Yahoo o en qué plataforma, no sé, en cuál plataforma tendría que hacer el nuevo correo. ¿Ah? Bueno, de preferencia en, en Gmail, no hay ningún problema. Puede crear otro. Puede crear otro, exacto. Yo tengo tres de ellos. <ríe> Voy a crear otro de este mismo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Solamente le va a tener que colocar otro nombre. Uh -huh. Pero ah, sí okay. se puede. Uh -huh. Así que intente hacerlo si es posible este fin de semana para que no se le acumule, porque ya en este caso estamos terminando la unidad 2 y es como que ya se le van a acumular bastantes tareas uh -huh. y para no uh -huh. tener tantas, tratemos de hacerlo el fin de semana y que le puedan activar el usuario. Ok. Bueno, bien. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay. Lisette Jamilet García. Ok, thank you. Um, Nidia Araceli Hernández. Paola Guadalupe Tobar. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda López. Sandra Lorena Sosa. Thank you. Soraya Elizabeth Javier. William Alexander Galdanos. Present teacher. Thank you. And Janira Gerardine Arana. All right, very good. Okay, everybody. Um, teacher, please. Germán, okay. Ahorita le coloco asistencia, it's okay. Now, eh, a veces, alguno de ustedes me informan que van a estar como oyentes, everybody. Gracias por informar. Uh, cuando yo pase lista, aunque ustedes me hayan dicho que son oyentes, siempre voy a mencionar su nombre por cuestiones de que la clase queda grabada y necesito pues, mencionar su nombre en la asistencia. Así que gracias por confirmar y gracias por avisar cuando van a poder ser oyentes por X u otra razón. Okay? Now, let's start with today's class, everybody. And let me start sharing the platform. So let's see the progress, everybody. Remember that we are finishing the unit number two. Por lo tanto, en la plataforma deberíamos estar ya terminando la unidad number two. Can you see the platform, everyone? Yes? 
Yeah. Okay, so let's see the progress on the platform. I can see some people with 60%. I mean, that's good. It's a good progress. Así que, pero tratemos de terminar, everybody. I have some people that they already finished. Very good. I can see very good progress. Remember que la nota mínima es 80, pero si ustedes pueden sacar 100, do it, everybody. Así que veo varias personas que aún no han terminado la unidad 2. De hecho, son pocos los que ya terminaron la unidad 2. Así que tratemos, everybody, de avanzar, please. También recordarles que en la unidad número 2 tenemos el midterm, que es el primer examen. Bien pocos lo han hecho. De hecho, creo que solo como tres personas han hecho el midterm. Así que, everybody, tenemos que hacerlo, ¿ok? Recuerden que las notas se actualizan cada semana. Y si de repente el INSAFOR o alguien del INSAFOR Ellos pueden ingresar al cuadro de asistencia, ellos pueden ingresar al cuadro de notas en cualquier momento. Entonces, si de repente ellos, hoy en la noche, por ejemplo, yo actualizo las notas después de clases. Si ellos entran hoy en la noche o mañana y ven las notas, es como que, ¿por qué esa persona no ha avanzado? ¿Okay? Así que tratemos de avanzar cada semana. Para no atrasarnos y también, everybody, con el midterm, si aún no lo han hecho, tratemos de hacerlo el fin de semana y lo mismo, ¿ok? Para no atrasarnos, ¿ok? Así que, ¿preguntas con respecto a la plataforma, everybody? Ok, if you don't have questions, let's start with today's practice. Let me share the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes? Excellent. So today is October 27th. And we are finishing the unit number two. So the topic for today is review of unit number two and practice. So we are going to have a lot of practice today. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Anyone, please? No volunteers? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. And class objective at the end of the class. Participants will be able to speak using the structure the study during, during the course. Thank you. So, we are going to have like a general review. And if it is a topic, everybody, that you didn't understand, tell me so I can explain again. Today, we have a lot of practice. Así que tratemos de practicar, everybody, porque aquí en esta clase es donde nos vamos a dar cuenta si hemos entendido o no los temas que hemos estudiado, ¿ok? Si yo veo que hay deficiencia en algún tema, significa que la próxima semana trataremos de tomar algunos minutos de la clase y poder siempre repasar un poquito los temas en los que sienta que haya deficiencia. Pero si todo marcha bien, El próximo lunes estamos iniciando con todo lo que es ya la unidad número 3. Okay? Now, let's start with the class that we studied today. ¿Qué significa must? Do you remember? Debo. Deber. Exactly. It's an optional. It's a necessity. Or is that an obligation? Obligation. Correct, very good. If I use must, do I need a preposition? Like, I must to go? Can I say that? No, teacher. No, right? I don't need the preposition to. If I'm talking about she, do I need to add the letter S? Like, she must? No, teacher. 
No, right? It's the same in third person. Very good. If it is in negative, do I need the auxiliary? Like, you don't must? No, teacher. No, very good. And must es un verbo especial. ¿Cómo se le llama a ese tipo de verbos? Modal verbs. Modal verbs. Very good. Okay, yesterday we had a practice. Imagine that you are the supervisor. You are explaining the employees the rules and tell them what you must do and what you mustn't do. So can you remember some of the sentences? Imagine that I am the new employee. Tell me the activities that I must do at work. Can you give me examples? You must check email. You must? Check email. Check emails, very good. That's a good example. What else, everybody? What else must I do? Any other you idea? Must, you must clean the office. You must clean the office, definitely. Very good. What else? You must arrive on time. You must arrive on time, definitely. Very good. How about in negative? What are the activities that I mustn't do at work? You mustn't listen to music. Ah, very good. You mustn't listen to music. That's a good example. What else? You mustn't eat in the office. You mustn't eat in the office. Yes, very good. What else? You mustn't sleep at work. <laughs> That's a good one, very good. Now, imagine everybody that we have a, a new student, okay? So, imagine that this is a new student, aquí en las clases de INSAFOR, okay? So, él no sabe cómo son las clases aquí en INSAFOR, so we need to tell them what he must and he mustn't do here in the class. Can you tell him the activities that he must do? What do you think? You must put attention. <laughs> pay attention, sorry. You, you must pay attention, yes. What else? Uh-huh. Work on the platform, yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, ¿cómo diría eso? How can I say that? You must or you mustn't? What do you think? You must. Yes, you must work on the platform. How about the negatives? What are the activities that you mustn't do in the class? ¿Cómo se dice no debe estar de oyente? <laughs> Ouch! Como que esa va directa, everybody. You mustn't be listener. Okay, you mustn't be listening. Okay, hey. People. <laughs> Partner. Okay. In the chat says you mustn't sleep. Okay, yeah, you mustn't sleep at the class. Sounds good. So imagine in this case, everybody, recuerden que cuando usamos must and mustn't is an obligation. Most of the time we use must and mustn't when we are talking about rules. And as we said yesterday, rules are important. ¿Qué pasa si rompemos las reglas? 
Uh -huh. We have problems. That's why must, everybody, it's important. Okay? Cuando ustedes usen must, recuerden que es como algo fuerte, es como una autoridad. No les estamos diciendo, ay, si quieres, right? No. Must is a rule. You have to follow the rules. You have to obey. Is it clear, everybody, the use of must? Yes, teacher. Yes? Do you have any questions so far? No, no questions? teacher. Okay, no. very good. Now, let's continue then for the review. And the first things that we are going to review is the simple present. Do you remember the structure for the simple present? Yes? No? So, si es affirmative in simple present, ¿qué necesito primero? Subject. Subject. A subject. And then? A verb. A verb. And then? Complement. Perfect. If it is third person, if I'm talking about she, is the same structure? Yes or no? Can I say she go to the park? She go to the park. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Hmm? Mm, the little S. Ah, very yeah. good. If it is third person, we need to add the letter S to the verb. She goes to the park. She drinks coffee. Okay? Be careful. Now, if I want to say the sentence in negative, what do I need first? Subject. Subject. Auxiliary. Ah, I have two auxiliaries. Do you remember them? Uh, el, el, el dasen. Don't el, and? Dasen. Dasen. And after the auxiliary, what do I need? Verbs. The verb and? Complement. Complement. That's good. Excellent. If I want to ask a question, what do I need first? Auxiliary. Okay. So can I say don't in a question? Mm, then no. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No. In a question, I just need do. do. Yeah, or... that's... Exactly. What do I need next? Subject. Good. Uh, verbs. Complement. And the compliment, good job. So this is the structure for the simple present. present. Exactly. Now let's have a quick practice about it. Here is the box. Remember, we use simple <laughs> present to talk about routines, okay? Más que todo usamos el simple present para hablar de routines. Así que, como ustedes lo dijeron, look, I need the subject, the verb, and then I can add a complement. La única difference is, if I have third person, don't forget that I need the letter S. If it is in negative, I have two auxiliaries. Don't or doesn't. ¿Con quiénes voy a usar doesn't? Third person. Exactly. With the third person. He, she, she. or it. it. If it is a question, first I need the auxiliary, then the subject, the verb, and you can add a complement. Now, I will ask you a question. You have to answer with yes or no. Imagine everybody that I say, mm, do you take a shower every day? What will be the answer? 
Do you take a shower every day? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Ah, very good. Yes, I do. Mm, do you go to dance on the weekends? Sometimes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> ah, yes, I do. Imagine if I say, do you cook? Yeah, in class. Uh -huh. Do you cook? No, I do. No, I do? Look yes, at I it. Do. Uh -huh. <laughs> if the answer is yes, we say yes, I do. If the answer is no, we say no, I don't. Okay? No, I don't. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo cambio el sujeto? En lugar de decir you, voy a preguntar por he. Um, does he drink coffee? If the answer is yes, ¿qué vamos a decir? Does he drink coffee? Yes, he doesn't. Mm, Perdón, he sorry, doesn't. yes, he does. Sure. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Sorry. Yes, he does. If the answer is no, ahí sí, vamos a decir no, he doesn't. doesn't. Excellent. Very good. Preguntas con respecto a la estructura del simple present, everybody? No questions? Is that clear? Okay. If you don't have... If you don't have questions, let's have a practice. I will share some pictures and you have to create the sentence in affirmative and in negative, okay? Let's see. I have here different verbs. What do you need to do? It's pick a verb. For example, voy a iniciar yo. Vamos a utilizar el verbo ir. Look at the picture. ¿Cómo sería esta oración en afirmativo? ¿Cuál sería el sujeto aquí? He. 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 ¿Cuál sería el verbo? It. It. Si estoy hablando de él. It. 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 And the complement. Hamburger. Very good. I'm so, hamburger. He eats. No olviden la letra S. A hamburger. Podemos decir he o podemos decir the Hola. man, okay, el hombre, but he, it's okay. He eats a hamburger. Okay? Now, yo quiero decir esta misma oración, pero en negative. ¿Cómo digo esta misma oración en negative? He don't eat, eat hamburger. He don't. He doesn't. Um, he doesn't. Eat a hamburger. hamburger. Necesito agregarle la letra S. He doesn't eat. No. Not anymore. Exactly. Look, in negative is he doesn't eat. No es. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué ya no le agregamos la letra S? Que ser auxiliar. It's the auxiliary. Correct. Okay. So, volviendo a la primera oración, the man eats hamburger. Si yo quiero hacer una question, ¿cómo quedaría la question? Do, does, does he eat hamburger? Eat hamburger. Ah, very good. Does he eat? A hamburger. Very good. Ahora, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Yes or no? Yes. 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 He, he, he does. does. Good. Yes, he does. Perfect. Excellent job. Now it's time to play the game. ¿Quién quiere empezar? The girls or the boys? Uh -huh. The boys. The boys. Okay. Is boys. you ready, Mr. Johnny? Mr. Charles. Okay, boys. Okay, well, see you. 
Ustedes son el color black. Girls, you will be the color white. Ok, así que boys, you start. Give me a verb. Ajá, uh -huh. boys. Work. Work. Ok. Let's see the picture. Ok, what is the subject here? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo quedaría esta oración en affirmative voice? Do they do work? Mm, ok, I'm going to write it. They do work. Is that correct, boys? In affirmative? Mm. Ok, si no la corrigen, no hay punto, everybody. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> so, recuerden la estructura. Subject, verb, complement. Ahorita yeah. estamos la oración, eh, haciendo sorry, la oración sí, es cierto. afirmative. They were. Ok, they were. They were in the company. In the company. Ok, yeah, why not? They work in the company. ¿Necesito la letter S? No, no, no third no. person. All right. Now, the same sentence, but in negative. How can I say the same sentence, but in negative? Quickly, boys, or no points. They don't work in the company. Okay, they don't work in the company. Everybody, boys, is that correct? Yes, no? Yes, teacher, no me <laughs> Now, ¿qué pasa si quiero hacer la question, boys? ¿Cómo quedaría la yes, no question in this case? Do they? Okay. Do they? Do they work in the company? Work in the company. Very good. Do they work in the company? Two points, please. <laughs> Two points. Okay. So, very good job. Affirmative, negative, and questions. Excellent. Okay. Uh, is it time for girls? Girls? Give me a verb. Drink. Drink. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Drink. Affirmative. What will be the affirmative sentence? She. She drink. Vino con se diría, Wine. Wine. She okay. drink wine. She drink wine. I can see the chat. Mm -hmm. In the chat says yeah. she drinks wine. So, girl, yes. she drinks or she, she drinks? drinks. With she the drinks. letter S? Drink. Yes, Okay. Yes. He drinks wine. Now, in negative. She doesn't drink. Wine. Okay, she doesn't drink wine. Girls, is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now in question, what will be the question here? Doesn't she doesn't she drink wine? Hmm, okay. Girls, what do you think? Is that correct? Does, does she does she drink does. drinks wine? Okay, does she or doesn't she? Does she does she drink wine? Respuesta definitiva. Yes, teacher. 
Yes, very good. That's correct. Excellent. Okay, everybody, very good job. Boys, it's your turn. Now, para hacerlo un poquito más interesante, ahora las girls van a elegir el verbo que van a usar los chicos y luego los chicos van a elegir el verbo que van a usar las girls. Ok, así que girls, elijan un verbo para los boys, please. Ajá, girls, ¿qué verbo le van a dar a los boys? Ride. Ride. Yes, teacher. Ok, boys, ride. ¿Cómo quedaría esta oración en Affirmative Boys? She writes. She write? writes. Writes. And a horse. A horse. Okay. In negative. She don't, doesn't write, write a horse. Hmm, okay. You said... She doesn't write or she doesn't write? Write. Ah, okay. And in a question? Does she? Does she? Ride a horse. Does she ride a horse? Boys, are these sentences correct? It's correct, teacher. Totally. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, boys, you get the point. Two points, please. Ah, only one, only one, because only one boy was participating. Help each other. Okay, boys, give me a verb for the girls. Walk. Walk. Yes. Okay, girls, what will be the sentence here? They were in the park. They walk in the park. Girl, do you agree? Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. In negative, girls, what would be the negative? They don't were in the park. Okay. They... Don't walk in the park. Now, the just no question. What will be the just no question? Do they? Okay. They walk in the park. All right. Do they walk in the park? Excellent. Very good, girls. You get the points. Okay. Easy or difficult, everybody, to create the sentences in affirmative, in negative, or in questions? Easy? More or less. More or less, okay. More or less, teacher. More or less. Okay, now let's do something. I'm going to choose a verb, okay? Y el primer equipo que me diga las oraciones se lleva los puntos, okay? Um, let's see, voy a pedir el verbo, hmm, sing, so, el que me lo diga primero gana, affirmative, they sing, they sing, in the time, in the what, <laughs> in the chair, in, in the, in the, uh, yes, Yes, in the, yes, in church. the church. Church. Okay, they see in the church. Okay, look, girls, le enviaron en el chat. Very good. Casi que al mismo tiempo. Ahorita van empate. Considérenlo un empate. Negative. Uh, okay. Negative. They don't. They, they don't. They don't think. They don't the think. And the church. Okay, they don't sing in the church. Listen, the girls are telling a different <laughs> sentence. Ustedes solo me están dando un pedacito. Las girls las están diciendo todas. Okay, and the question. Do they sing in the church? 
do they sing in the church? Okay. Ah, okay. The boys. Yes. Okay. Un punto para los boys por la afirmative, <laughs> por la afirmative que fue un empate y un point for the boys por la question. Ahora, un point for the girls por la afirmative y por la negative. Otra vez es un tie. <laughs> okay. Lo vamos a dejar en empate para que no se peleen. Okay. So, Questions, everybody, with the affirmative, negative, or questions structure? Yes? No questions? Not sure. Ready for the exam? <laughs> yes? No? Okay, let's have a practice. Now, we are going to create sentences, pero hoy les voy a ir preguntando así como que individually, okay? I have the first one. In this moment is affirmative sentences, okay? For example, the subject is she. Ahora, yo aquí tengo el verbo in infinitive, to come. Pero a la hora de hacerlo in affirmative, puedo decir she to come. ¿Puedo decirlo así? ¿Sí o no? No, teacher. No, right. Tenemos que conjugarlo. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría el verbo si estoy hablando de she? She comes. Ah, very good. She comes home at 9 a.m. Okay? So, we are going to create a sentences. I will give you a sentence to some of you. Um, let me write some names. This one will be for Mr. Johnny. This one will be for, let me see the ones that are not Anna listeners. Marie. Um, I can see Miss Jacqueline. Um, I can see who else? Mr. Jorge. I can see Miss Kenya Moreno. And da, 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 I think Ladine is not listener. Okay, so everybody, look at your sentences. Tell me the verb in affirmative. Okay, Johnny, are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. The girl. The girl. Guys, guys. Hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ok, le voy a dar dos opciones de escritura. ¿Así o así? No. Así. ¿The second one? The second. Ok, pronunciation goes. 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 Ok, the Johnny. The goes to school. Very good. Excellent. That's the one. Number three, Jacqueline, can you tell me the answer? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Oh. Grow. Grow. Mm -hmm. Can you read the full sentence? Lea la oración completa, please. The trees grow will. Good. ¿Necesito la letra S aquí? ¿Sí o no? No. Not really, right? In this case, it's a fijan is plural. It is not a person. Very good job. Jorge, you ready? Yes. Okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, my friend to study to study? French. Hmm, to study? Study French. Okay, necesito la preposition to, sí o no? Mm. Uh, to study. Hmm. <laughs> no worries. Everybody, necesito la preposition to? No, teacher. No. No, teacher. Exactly. Ahora, friends. ¿Necesita la letra S in study? Mm, 
No, teacher. Not. Why? It's plural. It's plural. Excellent. Very good. So, my friends, study French. Excellent. Next one, Miss Kenya. Kenya, are you there? The job clothes. Clothes. Okay, Jacqueline, I cannot hear you very well. Can you repeat? The job? The job. Um, clothes. Clothes? Hmm, do I need the letter S, everyone? Sí. Yes, exactly. So, ¿cuál sería la pronunciation aquí, everyone? Closes. Yes. The shop closes at 6 a.m. Very good. Okay, and the number six, Miss Ladine, what will be the sentence here? A boy. Uh huh. Live. Live. So, ¿necesita la letter S? What do you think, everybody? With the letter S? Yes or no? Live. Live? No, teacher. It's plural. Yes. En ese caso, ya no necesito la letter S, right? Porque ya es plural. Very oh. good. Excellent. Okay, now let's move on to the negatives. Again, aquí tengo la palabra not, que me está indicando que la oración va a ser en negative. So, si estoy hablando de I, ¿cuál auxiliary voy a usar? Don't or doesn't? Don't. 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 ¿Y qué pasa con el verbo? ¿Puedo decir don't to take? No, teacher. No, right. ¿Cómo voy a decir? Ah, don't take. Don't take. Perfect. Ok, les voy a asignar nuevamente um, oraciones a alguno de ustedes. This one will be for Miss Paola, Miss Rosa, Miss Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I don't know if it is listener or not. I'm not sure. But if you want, you can send it in the chat, okay? Uh, Miss Soraya and Mr. William. Okay, Miss Paola, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. He doesn't help his father. Ah, with the letter S? No, teacher. Very good, excellent. Miss Rosa? Hello? Okay, I think she, she cannot listen. Everybody, volunteer. She doesn't play. Very good. She doesn't play the guitar. Excellent. Uh, number four, um, Sandra, I'm not sure. Yo creo que me dijo que era listener, but I don't know if you can participate or send it in the chat. No? Volunteer, please. Then for the number four. We're done. Uh-huh. Dream. Three. Very good. Exactly. If you see, we is not third person, so we say we don't. Excellent. Number five, Miss Araya. Teacher Sally doesn't sleep at the daytime. Very good. Excellent. Mr. William. They don't eat at work. <laughs> Very good. They don't eat at work. Excellent, everybody. So that is the structure for the simple present. Is that clear? 
Yes? Dear future. Excellent. Very good. Now, when we are talking in simple present, it's very common to remember the numbers. Do you remember the numbers, everyone? Yes? More or less. More or less. Now, when we are talking about the numbers, we have two categories, the cardinals and the ordinals. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, everybody? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los numbers cardinals y los ordinals? What do you think? ¿Alguna idea? The cardinal is third, second, creo. <laughs> <laughs> ok. ¿Los demás están de acuerdo? Yes. Are you sure? So, ¿cuáles serían los ordinals? One, two, three, okay. four, eight, infinity. <laughs> okay, you have the idea, but we are going to find it out. Yeah. Okay, look at this one. I need two volunteers for reading, please. Who wants to read? No volunteers? Me, Thank you. Who say me? ¿Quién dijo yo? Yo, Mr. Johnny. Johnny, yeah. thank you. I need someone else. ¿Quién más? Um, me. William, thank <laughs> you. Okay, look, this conversation is in your manual in the page 28. Okay? So, Johnny, you will be Susan. William, you will be Adele. Go ahead. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is uh, the meeting with the consult consultant? On Monday, November 22? 22nd. Uh, 22nd. 22nd. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Don't worry, ya lo vamos a practicar. So everybody, in this case, when is the meeting? November. 20? 20? 22 second. 22nd. And when 20. is the conference with the Mexican representatives? And Friday, the 26th. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you see, no es lo mismo decir 22 than 22nd. So what is the difference? That is what we are going to check right now. Look at these ones. These, ¿qué tipo de, ¿cómo se le llama a este tipo de numbers? Ordinals or cardinals? What do you think? Ordinal. Ordinal. Mm -mm. Actually, cardinal. estos son los cardinals. Ok? Uh, so, uh, okay. tengan en mente que cardinals son como los normales, por decirlo así. Ok? okay. Car Oops, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. Cardinals. Sorry. Ok? Cardinals number. Cuando yo le diga cardinals, estamos hablando del one two, three, and ta -da 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 -da. Now, you have to be careful with the pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this number? Five. Five or five? Five. Ah. Five. What is the pronunciation of this one? A. A, a. or A? <laughs> a. 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 Or eight? Eight. Eight. Ah, very good. How about this one? <laughs> Mr. Yadi, sorry. Nine. Nine? Nine. 
or nine. Nine. Ajá, very good. Look, a veces ya nos podemos los números, pero tenemos que ser cuidadosos con la pronunciation. In English, una letra que cambiemos en la pronunciation puede cambiar totalmente el significado de una palabra. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta letra? A. A. Es como decir A, right? Entonces, hay personas que este número no dicen eight, no que me están diciendo A. So, ¿estamos confundiendo la pronunciation? ¿Estamos cambiando el significado, sí o no? Yes. yes. Sorry, yes. No, it's okay, but be careful. Okay? Ahora, también, everybody, hay otros números que a veces nos confundimos. And what is the pronunciation of this number? 13. 13. And this one? 30. 30. So, ¿cuál es la 30. diferencia, everybody? Thirteen. Ajá. Uh -huh. And? Thirty. Exactly. Very good. Now, mm, what is the pronunciation of this one? Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh -huh. And this one? Fifty. Fifty. Good. Exactly. Si se fijan, Amazing. del trece al diecinueve, todos terminan en teen. Por lo tanto, esa debe ser la fuerza de voz. 13, 14, 16, but cuando ya decimos las decenas, esos no llevan fuerza de voz al final. It's just 30, 40, 50, 60. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Teacher, pero se puede pronunciar como 30, yes. 40, 50. Yes. Se puede. English Britannic. <laughs> It's like a British English. Yes. Both options are correct. Okay, let's have a quick practice. Remember que los cardinal numbers son los no, números típicos. And in this case, everybody, si yo les pregunto, how old are you? Usaremos los cardinals. A ver, the number one. How old is the number one? One year. One year? Old. old. The number two? Five. Five years old. Good and very good pronunciation. Ahora sí me dicen five. Excellent. The next one? How old is the next one? Thirteen years old. Excellent. And then? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-three or twenty-three years old. Very good. How old is the next one? 35 years old. He is 30 or 35 years old. And this one? 50. 50. 50, 50 years old. Correct. And the last one? 70 years old. Perfect. Excellent. Now, I'm going to show you an audio, everybody. And you have to decide if you listen to this number or this one, okay? So you have to pay a lot of attention in the accent. You have to pay attention in the stress. Si ustedes creen que, creen que dicen 13, okay, click here. Si creen que dicen 30, okay, click here, okay? Ready, everybody? Listos? Always. Good. Okay, answer in your notebooks, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct. To avoid interferences, please, everybody, keep your microphones off. Everyone, microphones off, please, to avoid interferences. Pay attention. Here we go. Thirty. Forty. 15, 60, 17, 80, 90. All right. Could you listen to the audio? Um, 
Yeah, do, you, very... do you have the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? One more time, mm. please. One more time? Perfect. Microphones off, please. Here we go. Once again, pay attention. 30, 40, 15, 60, 17, 80, 90. Okay, let's see if you have the correct answers. 13 or 30? Which one did you listen? 30. <laughs> okay, 30? Or yeah. 30. 30. 30. If you pick 30, that's the correct answer. Number two, which one did you listen? 40. 40. 40, are you sure? Yes. yes. Totally. Next one? 15. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you laugh? 15? <laughs> Are you sure? 15, yes. Yes. Yes, very good job. Everybody, revisen sus respuestas, please. Next one, which one did you listen? 60. 60. Totally, very good job. Next? 17. 70 or 17? Uh, yo escuché 17, sorry. 70. ¿Y los demás? 70. 70? Mm -hmm. 17? Well, the correct answer is 17. So, si elegieron 17, you got a point. The next one? 80. 80. Yes. And the last one? 90. Good. How many correct answers did you have? All of them. All of them? All of them. Cool. So, repito, ¿cómo se llaman este tipo de números? Ordinal o cardinals? Cardinal. Cardinal. Cardinals. Very good. So, in that case, ¿cuáles son los ordinals? Look. These are the ordinals. The ordinals is first, second, third, fourth, so, esto es más que todo los usamos cuando hablamos de dates. ¿Qué significa dates? Fechas. Fechas. Fechas, exactly. O cuando estamos hablando de lugares, por ejemplo, primer lugar, segundo lugar. Pero ahorita nos vamos a concentrar en fechas. So, el number one ya no va a ser number one. Vamos a decir first. ¿Y en qué letras termina el first? ¿Cuáles son las últimas dos letras? ST. ST. Por eso cuando lo escribimos se representa con un 1 y con un ST. Ese ST me está indicando que es first. First. So, el número 2, ¿cómo se dice? Second. Second. Y look, se representa con un ND. Number 3. Third. 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 Again. Third. RD. Ahora, a Third. partir del 4, ok, cambia. Todos terminan en TH. Así que para pronunciarlo hay que poner la lengua en medio de los dientes. Y vamos a decir fourth. Repeat. Fourth. 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 Hagan ese sonido. Por. Ahorita lo vamos a exagerar. <ríe> ¿Ok? <ríe> no, no me mira la lengua. <ríe> si nosotros no exageramos la PH, entonces va a sonar como que si dijéramos for. 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 Repeat. Ah, much better. For. Again. For. Good. For. Ahora. ¿Cómo digo el 5? Fifth. 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 Sixth. 
Six. No. Okay. Six. Listen, Six. para que suene como debe sonar, I mean, ni modo, de verdad, pronuncien el seis normal y luego sacan la lengua. Six. Ok. Six. 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 Al inicio cuesta, ya con la practice, Six. ya se les va escuchando un poquito más natural. Luego tenemos... Six. Seven. Seven. Luego. Seven. Eight. 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 Luego. Nine. Nine. Oh, nine. Nine. Sorry. Nine. Ten. 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 Y así Ten. lo vamos a ir diciendo todos, everybody. Si se fijan, todos van terminando en TH. ¿Cuándo va a cambiar? Cuando lleguemos al 21. A partir del 21, no vamos a decir 21. ¿Cómo vamos a decir? 21st. 21st. ¿Y luego? 22nd. ¿Y luego? 23rd. 23rd. ¿Cómo diría 24? 24 24rd. Fourth. Fourth. Ok. Fourth. 25. 25. 25. Ok. Ahora, ¿qué pasa cuando yo llego al 30? Teres. ¿Y el 31? ¿Cómo sería? 31. Very good. And then? 32nd. Exactly. Y así sucesivamente. Ahora, cuando decimos estos números, como repito, son más que todo cuando decimos fechas. Así que ahorita quiero que piensen in your birthday. In English, para decir los birthday, primero decimos el month y luego decimos el day. Pero para decir el day, vamos a usar los ordinal numbers. ¿Ok? También... Vamos a agregarle la preposición on. Así que aquí les coloqué los meses del año. So everybody, ¿cómo respondemos a esta pregunta? When is your birthday? Ah, my birthday is on. A ver, ¿quién me dice su birthday? Primero necesitamos el mes. Uh -huh. On June. June. Ahora el día con los ordinal numbers. Don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember your birthday or the number? No, the presentation. <laughs> okay. Um, my birthday teacher. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me your birthday. Okay. On May. On May 28. 28. Ah, 28. Okay. So, who else? When is your birthday, everyone? A ver, anyone else? When is your birthday? 19, teacher. Ah, very good. 19. 19th. Mm -hmm. Very good. So imagine everybody, when do we celebrate Independence Day here in El Salvador? Independence on September. Day on September. Fifteenth. Very good. When do we celebrate New Year's? New Year's Eve. On January. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fears. On January. Fears. fears. Ok, no decimos fears. Es más como una E. First. 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 Okay. ok, on January. First. That's the one. First. Excellent. When do we celebrate Halloween? Um, October. Um, October 31st. 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 Excellent. Very good. 
Is that clear, everybody, the difference between the cardinal and the ordinal numbers? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Any questions so far, everybody? Um, this moment, no. <laughs> don't forget, please, <laughs> don't forget the pronunciation. Now, imagine que su jefe le dice, you know what, everybody, vamos a tener eh, una reunión, okay? Y va a ser um, el primero del 9 del 2023. Ok, el 9 me está indicando el mes. Así que, ¿cuándo va a ser la reunión, everybody? On September. On September. Ajá. First. First. Ah, good. On September 1st. Teacher, y para decir el año, sería ya eh, cardinal. Yes. Con el año ya lo decimos con los cardinals. Para los años lo vamos a decir de dos en dos. En este caso, ¿qué año sería? 20. 2023. A ver, ¿en qué año nacieron? Si yo 19. Quiero... Ajá. 19. Eh... William, William. <risa> 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 uh, uh, no, no, no quiere decir. 19. Uh, 90. Ah, sorry. 19. Ya se me olvidó. I don't know, remember. 1989. 1989. ¿Quién más? A ver, ¿en qué año nacieron? 1996. 96? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, DJ. <laughs> es que por algo no quería decir, right? Ok, so, cada vez que digamos los años, los decimos de dos en dos. Cambia cuando llegamos a los 2000, porque en los 2000 no podemos decir como 2000. So, en los 2000, normalmente siempre decimos 1000. 2001, 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. Y cambia nuevamente hasta que ya llegamos al 2010. Aquí sí, ya podemos decir 2010. Exactly. Is that clear? Everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Any questions so far? No. In this moment, no. <laughs> During the exam, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, remember that this is a review. We are practicing different topics. Okay. Now, during these units, we study the frequency adverbs. Do you remember the frequency adverbs? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Can you tell me the examples of frequency adverbs? Always. Always, okay. sometimes. Uh -huh. Usually. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. Often. Uh -huh. Often. Never. Sorry. Never, yes. Sometimes. Okay. Now, ¿cuál es, la posición, ¿cuál es la posición de los frequency adverbs? Imagine that I want to say, I drink soda, and I want to say, never. ¿A dónde voy a colocar never? Um, después del subject. Después del subject, like here, I never drink I soda. never drink, yes. Everybody, ¿están de acuerdo? Yes. Okay, sí. yes. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir um, I am happy y quiero usar always? ¿A dónde voy a colocar el always? I am always happy. I am always happy. Ahora, ¿puedo colocar always at the beginning of the sentence? Like always I am happy. No. ¿Qué pasa al final? ¿Puedo decir I am happy always? No. No, no really, right? ¿Qué, ¿Qué frequency adverbs pueden ir al inicio de la oración? Usually. 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 
often. Often. You know, sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Normally. Normally, Normally and occasionally too. So very good, everybody. I see that you remember it. Now let's have a practice. I have here some sentences. Tell me the sentences in the correct order. Remember that it doesn't matter if the sentence is in affirmative or in negative, the position is always the same. The first sentence is in affirmative. I walk to work. What would be the sentence, everybody? I always work to work. I always walk to work. Is that correct, everybody? Yes, teacher. Totally. Now, the second sentence is a question. ¿Cómo quedaría esa oración? Usually, do you wear glasses, please? Hmm. Usually, do you wear glasses? Remember que esa es una question. ¿Puedo poner usually adelante si es una question in this case? No. no. Remember que una do you question. Usually. Do you usually? That's correct. Wear glasses. Uh -huh. Si fuese una oración en afirmativo o negativo, sí puede ir adelante. Pero recuerden yes. que para hacer questions siempre es do. Do you usually okay, wear glasses? Ok, number three, verb to be. I'm bored. I am hardly ever bored. Ah, I'm hardly ever bored. bored. Ok. Now, I will be giving you some sentences. I will write some names again. Uh, let me give sentences to you. To, to, to. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Miss Paola. Miss, who else? Soraya. And Mr. Jorge. Okay. ¿Cómo quedaría sus oraciones, guys? A ver, Paola. Eh, sería she does. Eh, no, no tengo dudas aquí. <laughs> she does sometimes. House, housework. Housework. Hmm. Ok, everybody. ¿Están de acuerdo? ¿Es that correct? Tengo dudas. <laughs> It's ok, no worries. So, en este caso, ¿cuál es el verbo? Sí, pues. Um, no hay no hay verbo mm, claro que sí solo que <laughs> el verbo es das pero como es tercera persona por eso estamos diciendo das ok es el verbo do pero en terceras personas cómo sería do en terceras personas does das Entonces, sería she sometimes does housework that is the one exactly Exactly. She sometimes does housework. ¿Puedo poner sometimes adelante de la oración? Yes, teacher. Yes. También se podría decir sometimes she, she does, does housework. Excellent. Miss Soraya, what would be your sentence? And we hardly ever uh -huh. go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Very good job. Excellent. Mr. Jorge, number six, what will be the sentence? In this case, it's a question. So we mm -hmm. have to be careful. Why are you always late? Okay. Why are you always late? Everybody, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yes. Excellent job. So, ¿se entiende la posición de los frequency adverbs? Yes. yes. Ahora, si yo quiero preguntar la frecuencia con la que alguien realiza una acción, ¿cuál es la pregunta que voy a hacer? How, How often? How often? Do you... Yes, very good. Nosotros hacemos la pregunta de how often do you? Ahorita vamos a hacer una practice. 
Hay que speak in practice. So, vamos a preguntar sobre las activities que ustedes hacen en su trabajo y con qué frecuencia las realizan. For example, sign contracts. ¿Qué significa esto, everybody? Sign contracts. Eh, contract creo que es contrato. Exacto. Sign, sign es no como es. cuando hacen el dibujito legal. Ajá, eh, firma. Sería elaborar contrato o firma. In this case, firmar. Firmar. Firmar contrato. Exactly. Oh, so, ¿cómo quedaría la pregunta aquí? How often do you sign contracts? Sign contracts. A ver, everybody. ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? How often do you sign contracts? Always, never, sometimes, hardly ever. I sometimes. Ok. So, quiero que ustedes escriban donde dice you, ustedes van a escribir su respuesta. Y donde dice your partner, ahí van a colocar la respuesta que de su partner. A ver, everybody, how often do you sign contracts at work? Uh -huh. Anyone? Never? Always? Never? Never, ok. So, si su classmate dice never, ustedes colocan never. Ahora, eh, ¿hay alguna palabra que no sepan qué significa? Drink coffee? ¿Se entiende drink coffee? Yes. 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 Operate a machine. Operar una, una máquina. Una máquina. Uh -huh. Receive phone calls. Recibe llamadas. Recibe llamadas. Take a break. Tomar un descanso. Tomar un descanso. Exactly. Attend a conference. Asistir. Asistir. Asistir a una conferencia. Asistir. 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 conferencia. Six problems. Resolver. Oh. Yes, resolver, arreglar problems. Serve customers. No, teacher, sorry. No, no. Serve es como servir, servirle servir. a los clientes directamente. Okay? Oh, okay. So, I'm going to send this picture on WhatsApp's group. Y ustedes tienen que hacer la oración a su classmate. So, for example, William le puede hacer la question a su classmate Johnny y le va a decir, ok, Mr. Johnny, how often do you sign contracts? Y Johnny va a decir, ah, I sometimes sign contracts. Entonces, William tiene que escribir la palabra sometimes. Cuando regresemos al salón principal, yo les voy a preguntar, ok, William, ¿qué dijo su classmate? En sign contracts. Ah, sometimes. Ok. Johnny, ¿qué dijo William? And receive phone calls. Ah, he says never. ¿Se entiende la activity, everybody? Yes. It's... Yes? Excellent. Yes. Very good. So we are going to go to the breakup rooms. Again, everybody, please. Uh, for the ones that are listeners, let's try to participate, okay? Um, give me a second. I'm going to create the groups. If you are in a group where your classmates are not participating, please let me know. So I will switch you to another group. Okay, so everybody, okay. let's go to work. A partir de este momento, zero Spanish. Let's go. Compartir. 
Okay, Mr. William, compare that, please. One moment, please. See? Okay. 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 Can you see presentation? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, let's go. Let's go, partners. Okay. How often do you sign contracts? Miss mm -hmm. Paola and Miss. Eliseo, Mr. Eliseo, sorry. A ver, este, Eliseo. si me hace un link, si me puedes hacer una recapitulación, por favor. O sea, hay que responder cuando dice sin contracts, contracts, perdón. Uh -huh. eh, ok, este, bueno, no teníamos que hablar español, pero yo le pregunto <ríe> a usted con qué frecuencia ¿verdad? hace usted eh, la firma contrato, significa sin contract. Y usted me responde usted, con la eh, frequency outdoor que usted tiene en su cuaderno o de, me, en su memoria y me responde. No sé si... Oh, sí. Is you ready? Yes. Ok. Bueno, Miss Paola. Repeat. Repeat okay. the question. How often do you sing contract? I I never seen. Okay, I never seen contract. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 yes. Okay. 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 Ask me question. Okay. How often do you sing contract? Contracts? I never. I never. Okay. I never sing contract. Okay. Uh, next question. How often? How often do you drink coffee? Miss Paola y Mr. Eliseo. I always drink coffee. Mm, siempre, ok. Miss Altagracia. Ok, I think Miss Altagracia is listener. So, yeah. Jorge, can you participate? Okay, I'm going to try. Sorry, Johnny. I... Hello, Miss. Hi. I almost uh... operate the machine. <laughs> ah, yes. yes. How often ah. do you operate a machine? Never. I never operate a machine. Sometimes. Um, uh, you... Ah, you sometimes. I often receive phone calls, Johnny. Always. Uh, me always do. Always. Uh, how often take a break? Do, how often do you take a break? Um, how often? How often? Oh, oh my God. God. Wow, Mao. Wow. Wow. Un accidente. Un accidente. Oh, grande ha sido eso. Mire cuántos carros involucrados. Allá está uno dentro del hoyo. Oh, terrible. Sorry, Yannick. Oh, a big accident here. Oh. Next. Uh, hello. How Ah, how often do you do you attend a conference, Johnny? Um, sometimes I yeah, am sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Yes, and in my case, sometimes. Okay. Um, 
And next, uh, how Johnny? often do you fix problems? Oh, oh. Sorry? How often do you fix problems? Oh, sometimes, Johnny, sometimes. And you? Always. Ah, oh, always. Yes. Okay. How often do you serve consumer? Okay, we have uh, Miss Soraya too. So, Miss Soraya, you can also answer the sentences, okay? Uh, okay. Miss Soraya? Hello. How often, how often do you sing contracts? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Uh, how often do you drink coffee? Um, always. Okay. Uh, how often do you operate a machine? Mm, some uh, occasionally. Occasionally. Yes. Okay. Uh, how often do you receive phone calls? Um, often. Often. Yes. Okay. Okay, a break. Okay, next question. Miss Paola, ask me a question. Okay. How often do you attend a conference? Conference. I usually attend attends a conference. And you, Mr. Partner, how often do you attend a conference? Miss Paola? Era recibir conferencia o como era? Asistir a una conferencia. Okay. I don't, I, I don't uh, speak Spanish. I never. I, I never. must. I must okay. speak Spanish, please. Okay. Uh, okay. How often do you attend a conference? I never attend I never. a conference. I fall asleep. And you miss Paula? I never. I never. Uh, a conference. Okay. Next question. Ask me, please. How often do you attend a conference? Um, I hardly ever. I hardly ever attend a conference. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for everyone. Okay, okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for everyone. Time's up, time's up. All right, let's see. How was the practice, everybody? Easy, difficult, more or less? More or less. More or less, okay. Let's Hello. see. 
I know that some people have some issues. That's why you couldn't join to the breakup rooms. I'm sorry. Sometimes the connection affects. Okay. So um, I expect for the next practice, you can do it. Okay. Let's see if you paid attention to your classmates. In the team number one, I was listening to Miss Altagracia, eh, Johnny, and Miss Soraya, I guess. So, Johnny, how often does your classmates drink coffee? Always. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. And girls, Soraya and Altagracia, how often does Mr. Johnny? receive phone calls do you remember no okay i think they um, so johnny <laughs> how often do you receive phone calls always teacher always okay in the team number two, I was listening to William, Paola, and Mr. Liceo, I guess. So everybody, let's see. Paola, how often do your classmates take a break? Uh, I said, yeah, he, he always. 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 Ah, okay, he always takes a break. Teacher, repeat the question, please. How often do your classmates take a break? Eh, que si tomo descansos en las clases? Yes. Um, I never use break and the class. So you never take a break? No. Ah. Solo para cenar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, uh, ¿qué dijo Paola? Tell me, everybody, how often does Paola um, operate a machine? I never operate a machine. You never. ¿Y Paola? Si estoy hablando de Paola, voy a decir she. She, she never operate a machine. Okay, Paola, is that true? Yes, teacher. Good. Excellent. So, everybody, don't forget. Si estamos hablando en terceras personas, siempre vamos a agregarle la letter S to the verb. She never operates a machine. Preguntas, everybody, con respecto a los frequency adverbs? Questions? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, pretty good. Now, we already practiced the frequency adverb. Now, there is another topic that we need to remember, and it is the imperatives. Do you remember the imperatives, everyone? Uh huh. Yes? No? The use the orders or uh -huh. advice. Correct. We can use imperative for orders or for advice. ¿Cuál es la característica principal de los imperatives? No lleva subject. Exactly. They don't need a subject. ¿Puedo decirlo in affirmative and in negative? Yes. Yes. ¿Cuál auxiliary voy a usar si voy a decirlo en negative? Dumb. Correct. Very good job. So, cuando estudiamos los imperatives, estudiamos el vocabulary de la health problems. So, look at the first uh, picture. What happens to her? Uh huh. What is the health problem? Any idea? I have to trap. Mm. Are you sure? A cold. A cold. She, she, ha has. she has a cold. Ah, very good. The number one sería, she has a cold. Oh. Very good. 
In the number two, ¿cuál creen que sería la number two? If she has a... A headache. Ah, she has a... Sorry. Headache, right? Next one. What is happening in the next one? What do you think? Ah, uh, it's a D. He has a sore throat. <laughs> He has a sore throat. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's continue with the next ones. Um, what will be the next one? Esta ya está, esta ya está, y esta ya está. So, number four, what happens to her? Uh -huh. Any idea, everybody? No? Sí, drogué. <risa> ok, vamos a dejar eso para después. Number five. ¿Qué creen que le pasa al number five? Fever. Sí. Look at this one. He has an allergy. ¿Creen que es una mm. allergy? No. Mm. Not He really. Feel sick. Mm, he has a toothache. No. Puedo decir she? No, así que esta no. queda descartada. He has a earache. Yes, it should. Yes. Exactly. He has an earache. Excellent. The number six. What happens to her? Or is he, she's sneezing? She feels sick. Ah, podemos decir she feels sick. ¿Y qué más? She has? Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Very good. En la number four, podemos decir she feels sick. Mm. Ok, ella se siente mal de salud, se siente enferma. Number seven, what happens in the number seven? What do you think? He has an allergy. Very good, he has an allergy. Excellent. Number eight, what happens to the number eight? She feels sick. She feels sick, yes. And in the number nine? What happens? He has a toothache. Toothache, very good. Ah, veo que se recuerdan del vocabulary. That's excellent. Now, cuando nos sentimos mal de salud, podemos pedir recommendations, podemos pedir advice. So imagine in this case, if I have a cold, ¿cuál sería el mejor advice? If I have a cold. Please go to the doctor. Please go to the doctor. Ok, pero digamos una de las opciones que tengamos aquí. ¿Cuál sería la mejor oh, opción? Okay. A glass of oh, okay. warm salt water. Don't go outside. Take an aspirin. Uh, aspirin. Take an aspirin if you have a cold. Everybody, ¿están de acuerdo? Mm, no. No, bueno, no sería para... I have an allergy. Take an aspirin. Okay, I don't know. You tell me. ¿Qué Don't pasa go si? outside. Don't go outside. Ok, vamos a dejar don't go outside y si después la quieren cambiar, la cambiamos. Number two, oh. I have a stomach cake. ¿Qué debería hacer if I have a stomach cake? Please take, take some, some indigestion. Take some indigestion table. Ah, table. indigestion tablets. Ok. Tablets. If I have an allergy... Cuando alguien tiene alergias, 
¿Qué debería hacer? Take um, aspirin. Take an aspirin. Creo. <laughs> okay. If I have a toothache. ¿Qué me recomiendan para un toothache? A glass of water. Ah, a glass of warm salt water. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado eso? Que si les duelen las muelitas, es como que hay que enjuagarse la boca con, con agua caliente y salada. Ajá, uh -huh, or bicarbonato. That's true. Ok, I have a headache. ¿Qué debo hacer if I have a headache? Get some rest and drink. A lot of agua, water. Ok. Water. Get some rest and drink a lot of water. Everybody, ¿están de acuerdo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, sounds good. So, everybody. Well, yo tal vez hubiera elegido otras. <laughs> For example, if I have a cold, get some rest and drink a lot of water. También funcionaría para un cold. Para las allergies, lo mejor sería don't go outside. Recuerden que a veces las alergias se provocan por el polvo o el polen. So, but if you see, todas estas oraciones son imperatives. Tenemos sujeto en esas oraciones? No, teacher. No. ¿Podemos hacerlas en negative? Yes. Yes, yes. exactly. Very good job. Now, we already practice speaking and grammar. Um, we are going to practice on the platform, but first, let's have a listening practice, okay? I have here a dialogue. Listen to the conversation, and you have to decide if the sentences are true or false, okay? Are you ready, everybody? Okay. So, microphones, please, to avoid interferences. Keep the microphones off, everybody. So, pay a lot of attention. Here we go. Hi. Have a seat and tell me what's going on. Hi, I have a terrible stomach ache. Do you feel anything else? Yes, I feel sick. When did it start? This morning. I think I ate something bad last night. All right. Take this prescription and go to the pharmacy. They will give you the medicine. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Could you listen to the audio? Or do you want to listen it one more time? One more one time. time. Okay, one more time. Microphones please. off, please. Here we go. Pay attention. Hello. Hi. Have a seat and tell me what's going on. Hi, I have a terrible stomach ache. Do you feel anything else? Yes, I feel sick. When did it start? This morning, I think I ate something bad last night. All right. Take this prescription and go to the pharmacy. They will give you the medicine. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, hi, everybody. Do you have the answers? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes? Okay, everybody, let's see. Number one, Kate has a terrible stomach ache. Is that true, true. or false? True. true. It's true. It's true. 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 That's correct. Um, she feels sick. True. 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 Okay, very good. The symptoms started last week. False. 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 Correct. False. Exactly. She ate something bad last night. True. True. Good. The doctor doesn't give her a prescription. False. True. Hmm. Uh, False. Me. You. I am. Banana. <laughs> I listen to everybody. What do you think? 
¿Le yo, dio? Escuché que, yo he escuchado que le dio. Ah, entonces, en este caso, la oración es false. La oración dice, the doctor doesn't give her. No le dio una prescription. Esa oración es falsa, porque sí le dio una prescription. ¿Ok? Yes. Very good. How many okay. correct answers did you have? Four. Four? Oh, down? Four? I love them. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, let's go for the dialogue number two. The dynamic is the same. Now, I have more sentences over here. Pay a lot of attention and decide if the sentences are true or false. Microphones off, please. Pay attention, everybody. Here we go. Hello. How do you feel today? I feel terrible. I have a headache and a sore throat. Do you feel tired or weak? No, but I feel sleepy. Do you have any allergies? Not that I know of. Well, I think you have a cold. My advice is to go home, rest, and take an aspirin. Okay, I will. Thanks. Bye. Do you have the answers? Do you time. want to listen in again? One more time, please. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Pay attention. Hello. How do you feel today? I feel terrible. I have a headache and a sore throat. Do you feel tired or weak? No, but I feel sleepy. Do you have any allergies? Not that I know of. Well, I think you have a cold. My advice is to go home, rest, and take an aspirin. Okay, I will. Thanks. Bye. Do you have the answers? Or do you need to listen it yes. one more time? Yes. Mm, let's go. Yes? Okay. Kate feels good. Is that true or false? False. False. False? Are you sure? Yes. Very good. Totally. It's false. So, she has a headache and a sore throat. True. True. Are you sure? True. Teacher. Totally true. Yes. She feels sick. True. True. Are you sure? False. Teacher. <laughs> some of you say true, some of you say false. So what is the correct answer, everybody? True. true. Are you sure? <laughs> no problem, no problem. Actually, the correct answer is false. I mean, ella dijo que se sentía cansada, ¿ok? Pero yeah, okay. no dijo que se sentía enferma, así que false. Me too. <laughs> she has an earache. False. Are you sure? False. Yes. False. That's correct. Excellent. Number five. The doctor thinks that she has a cold. True. True. Are True. You sure? Yes. True. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay. The doctor advises her to go home and rest. True. True. Are you sure? Yes. yes, no problem, teacher. <laughs> yes, it is true. Now, the doctor suggests her taking an aspirin. True. True. Are you sure? Um, I yes. don't yes. know. Yes. Okay, yes. it is true. Yes. yes. Le dijo, right? Vaya a su casa, descanse y también tomese una aspirin. Yes. Okay. The last one, the doctor gives her a prescription for indigestion tablets. False. False. Are you sure? I don't yeah. listen. <laughs> okay, actually, the correct answer is false. He didn't give her a prescription. So, how many correct answers did you have in this one? All of them. 
All of them. Really? Four. Seven. Seven? Four, okay. Teacher. Which audio was easier, the first or the second one? Mm, the first mm. one, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, remember, listening is something that we need to practice every single day. Okay? Tenemos que estar practicando el listening constantemente, everybody. Y aquí entra la extra milla. Ustedes Yo soy listening. Tienen que tratar de escuchar muchas cosas en inglés. Music, watching movies, videos, all of those things. Okay? Now, everybody. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Come on, we have time. <laughs> now, open the platform, everybody. We are going to complete the last exercise in the unit number two. Okay? Let's okay. go to the exercise number 10 in the unit number two for the one who hasn't done it. Look at this one. Aquí vamos a combinar todo lo que hemos estado repasando. Frequency adverbs, simple present, and the imperatives. Look at the first sentence says, how often do you drink milk? Look at the answer. I ta, 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 drink milk. I'm allergic to it. So si soy alérgico, what would be the answer? Always, never, or usually? I never drink milk. I never mm -hmm. drink milk. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Okay. I never drink milk. I'm allergic to it. Number two, we have imperatives. Please, ta, 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 that memo today. Call that memo, write that memo, or supervise that memo. Right. 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 Are you sure? Yes. 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 Totally. Very good job. Okay, number three. I ta, 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 wear glasses to read my English book. Aquí comparamos. I have to, I has to, or I don't has to. Have, I have to. to. Have to. Are you sure? Yes. yes. ¿Y qué no significa problem. have to? ¿Cuándo usábamos have to? Obligation. Obligations. Very good job. Number four. Careful. There is water on the floor. So, look careful, be careful, or to be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. okay. Number five. Marta ta, 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 visits her mother because she lives far away from her. ¿Qué significa far away? Lejos. 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 Exactly. So, Marta, usually, always, or readily? Readily visits her mom because she lives far away from her. And look at this one. Correct answers. Very good job. So everybody, remember that those are the exercises for the unit number two. Solo les resta a los que todavía no lo han hecho completar lo que es el examen. Recuerden que el examen se encuentra en la sección número dos. Aquí, este que dice midterm, that is the exam. En el examen van a encontrar solo ejercicios relacionados con los topics que hemos estudiado. Así que para los que no lo han hecho, traten de hacerlo hoy o a más tardar el fin de semana. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay, everybody, antes de irnos, I'm going to check attendance again. When you listen to your names, say present. Altagracia Ramirez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexis Urbina. Okay. Carlos Rodolfo Flores. Present, Miss. Thank you. Cristian Julio Cesar Castillo. Edgar Eliseo. Present, present. Okay, thank you, Christian. Edgar Eliseo Ruano. Present teacher. Thank you. Germán Gustavo Ramírez. Gisela Elizabeth Guillén. Okay. Um, Gloria Nicole Espinal. Jacqueline Yvette Sánchez. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Johnny Ismael Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Melara. Present. Thank you. Carla René Nieto. Kenia Guadalupe Moreno. Present. Okay, thank you, Carla. Kenia Guadalupe Moreno. Lady Suleima Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Lisette Yamilet Garcia. Nidia Araceli Hernández. Paola Guadalupe Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda López. Present. Thank you. Sandra Lorena Sosa. Present. Thank you. Soraya Elizabeth Javier. William Alexander Galdamos. Present teacher. Thank you. And Janira Geraldine Arana. All right. Now, everybody, because it's Friday, y yo sé que están cansados, este día no va a haber winners, así que los voy a dejar ir a dormir temprano. Don't worry. It's amazing. Thank you, miss. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. No olviden trabajar en la plataforma, please. Have a good weekend, everybody. See you bye, 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 bye. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Bye. bye. Goodbye. See you. See you.